Hi everyone, my name is Electric Donkey, and uh, welcome back to another uh, little, what should we call that, feedback sort of episode type thing, it's a bit trivy to explain, but um, basically, uh, once again I had someone comment in the comments, as you do, uh, and they said, could you go and check out my game, so they had a website sort of thing going on here, there's not much on it if it loads up, but it's basically just a list of downloads, and there is not many comments, there's I think two, two comments, uh, and one of them's not really helpful um, very much, I haven't really had time to read the, the other one, but there's a lot of videos, there's a lot of screenshots, there's, to be honest, a lot of stuff going on here. I don't even know if I'm playing the right version of this because the downloads bit was a bit iffy. I was like, well, which one's the um, the downloads, which one's not the downloads, which one am I meant to be pressing here? But we're going to go ahead and give it a go. So let's just read the words really quickly. Hello, I'm working on a remake of Boulder Dash slash Emerald Mine. I've never really played either of them, so I'm just going to judge it as a game itself. Uh, also, I added and will add some futures. Also, I added and will add some futures of diamond caves and some of my own. That's a bit uh, funny wording there. At the moment, the game runs pretty well. All objects behaving as they should. Only the controls are nasty and must must be improved. Well, at least you've said it yourself. Test version for Android can be found here. There is nearly no sound left, only a few levels. I need graphics and music and sound effects. Maybe someone can help. So if anyone is interested to do that, go um, hit him up. Obviously, he's asking for people to do that. So let's just go ahead and uh, play the game. First off, I've noticed that... Um, there's a lot of stuff going on. This is what you, as soon as you open it, this is what get, hits you. So you get these flashing things over here, you get these bug things moving over here, you get these bits over here, you get the next level group here, you get the delete save game, you get there, you get his name, email address getting wafted in your face. You've got these levels here and it all becomes uh, a little bit overwhelming. <laughs> You probably, like me, I've opened it up and gone, Oh my word, there's so much going on here, what am I meant to be doing? So maybe calm it down a little bit. Um, also, I'm not going to mention the graphics, but you pretty much know they're not great. Also, little things here, um, you can see this is level zero, there's no space between the level and the zero, that kind of bugs me. Also, this is dirt and emeralds, um, but the underscores... Just get rid of the underscores, put a space, it makes it look a lot more user friendly. And if you're going to be on mobile, you want it to look as user friendly as possible. So let's uh, let's go and check it out. Also, if you kind of hold down, you get this. I have no clue what I'm doing here, guys. Oh, hang, hang on, what? Um. <laughs> Oh, you have to press these things. Oh, no, no. Oh, okay. Uh, so, the controls are absolutely... Ah, oh, no, there we go. I was going to say the controls are absolutely terrible. What was happening? Um, to be honest, they're not great controls. Um, uh, well, we can just leave it as that for the time being, though. Can't we? Um, I don't know what I'm doing here, to be honest. Now, fair enough, if you've played a game like this before, then and you know what you're doing, then fine. But I haven't. I don't know what I'm doing here. So maybe a tutorial is kind of in hand here. Um, also, there appears to be two doors. I'm not quite sure what's, or even how am I meant to get through the doors? I don't think I can, guys. I don't think we can physically get through the doors. How on earth do we get through the door? Do we have to like bang the doors down? Oh no, the controls are absolutely terrible. So apparently we're not doing that. Oh no, no, oh my. 
Well, I don't have a clue, guys. I do honestly not have an actual clue what we're doing here. Let's try and click edit and see what that... Oh, my... Oh, my word. So, now we've got this funky bit. So, apparently, we can we can place blocks here, can we? Oh. Well, okay. Oh. Okay, we've just got rid of the door, then. Apparently. How do we... We need the door back. <laughs> this is kind of worrying... I don't, what are these? Oh my. What? What is going on? Do we? Oh, okay. Apparently we press that one. Um, how am I, how am I going to judge this, really? Realistically? Um, hmm. It's tricky. It's tricky to explain, because I don't really know the game well. I don't know how it's meant to play, how how things are meant to, are we meant to like plan his route out or what's meant to be happening here that I'm missing. There's obviously something meant to be happening. So that's probably where I'd say you probably need to um have some sort of tutorial in this example. Another thing to say is um interplating between pixels I can tell you've got this turned on because everything looks fuzzy it's awful turn it off I don't know where it would possibly be used unless it is just fuzzy um, I might be wrong they might all just be fuzzy but interplacing between pixels just turn it off it will improve your graphics by quite a bit probably um I don't know what these are I exit at oops okay I don't know what I did there um what I'm going to say is, it's a good idea. Yeah, the the idea is there. I can see what you're trying to make. Um, and I can see what you're trying to produce. Um, only problem is, I think you might have been ever so slightly overambitious. I don't know. Um, possibly, because what I can see here is you've got a lot of stuff going on here. And then we go in here and we've got a lot of stuff going in here. Well, all of a sudden it's changed, okay. We're, level, we're on level 12 now, apparently. Hey, what? What? <laughs> Who knows what happened there? But um, we go in here, and we've got a lot of stuff going on in here, and then we've got. Um, well, actually, there's not as much stuff going on here. That's the problem. We don't know what we're doing here. There's stuff here. There's stuff to do here. And I think if I've played another game, if I've played Boulder Dash or something like that, then I'd probably know what I was doing. But conveniently, I haven't, and probably a lot of people won't have, so they won't know how to play. You, know, you need some sort of bit in there. Sound obviously sound doesn't really bother me in a game. It makes it makes a good game if you've got sound, but to make the foundations of a game you don't need sound. Graphics they do matter. Of course I'm not gonna stand here and say graphics don't matter, but they're not a high priority. I think these graphics are alright. If you can find someone that will do graphics, I know me myself, I'm awful at graphics. I couldn't do them for the life of me. But if you find someone that would do the graphics and are pretty good at them, then go ahead and do it. It's worth doing. But don't stop on the coding. The coding is the most important thing. Um, what else would I say? What else was there in here? So, uh, The controls, yes. The controls definitely do need some work. And also probably need to talk about the um, the Android sort of side of it. So I haven't actually played the Android game. But looking at this, I would say just don't. Just don't bother. Don't bother putting on Android. If you've got the Android module, great. All right, you can go ahead and you can play around with it on Android, but don't focus on it. Make sure you've got a solid game on the actual computer first, and then go to Android. You know, you're not gonna make a game. If you're gonna make an Android game, fine, make an Android game. If you're gonna make a computer game, make a computer game. If you're gonna make both, focus on the computer first, because that's what most people would probably be using, not the phone. Also, um, Android Market is quite hard to get into, or iOS, I don't know about iOS, but Android themselves, very, very hard a market to get into, especially with all these big games, um, in-app purchases, ads, all this sort of stuff, how would you do it? It gets a bit complicated. So my advice to you would be just stick at your PC game, make your PC game as good as possible, as fine as possible, and then you'll pretty much be set. Also, another thing about these controls see I just tap that if I if I any more than literally just tap it 
I'll go flying across. And it's like, well, I'm okay. Let let me try and just um, go up here. We'll go right, then we'll go into the middle, and then we'll go up, left, and down, and right. Yeah, to be honest, not too bad. But um, all the same, I'd, I'd be a little bit concerned by the fact that it's a little bit um, a little bit unresponsive. They're really. It's not the greatest controls. Um, it depends how you're using it, though, I guess. How you're actually defining the controls here. I don't know how. I don't know what these doors are as well. These doors are really bugging me. Um, it's probably me being absolutely stupid or something. You have to probably collect all of them or bang it down with a boulder or, or something. I don't know how to do. Um, but basically, good foundations. Just need to work on it. Drop the Android. That's basically my um, my summary right there. Um, but yeah, that's about it. All I'd say is don't get discouraged. Keep going on it. It's a good foundation you've got here. Uh, so guys, that's about it for uh, today. Um, not really anything more I have to say on that, uh, other than keep going at it. Um, if you enjoyed this little review thing, remember to like, subscribe, uh, and also enter the giveaway I've got going, because that's probably quite a good thing to go and enter. Um, so anyway guys, that's it for me. I'll talk to you later.